we present DeepCap, monocular human performance capture using weak supervision. Current monocular human performance capture approaches do not account for clothing, suffer from depth ambiguity, or are temporally inconsistent. We address these challenges with our novel DeepCap approach. Our goal is to capture the performance of the human body given just a single RGB video as input. To this end, we propose a learning-based method for accurately recovering the dense deforming geometry of entire humans that jointly tracks the skeletal pose and non-rigid surface deformations. Our method enables exciting applications in the movie industry or AR where we can augment a video. Here, we show an example of changing the texture on the t-shirt. Moreover, we can render the performance capture results from an arbitrary viewpoint, which can be used in VR, 3D movie and telepresence applications. Our method takes monocular segmented video frames as input and jointly predicts the skeletal pose and the dense surface deformation of the entire human body without the need for any 3D ground truth supervision. To this end, our method leverages a fully differentiable human deformation model that is based on a template mesh, a parametric skeleton and a deformation graph. To acquire the training data, we record a multi-view video sequence of the actor performing various motions in a multi-camera studio with green screen from which we extract 2D pose detections and foreground masks. Given the segmented frame, our first network, PoseNet, predicts the joint angles and the camera relative rotation of the skeleton. It relies on a kinematics layer, a global alignment layer and a projection. Our second network, DefNet, regresses the dense surface deformation in the form of embedded deformation graph parameters. Our deformation layer takes the pose and graph parameters and deforms and poses the template. For supervision, our method leverages a multi-view silhouette loss that ensures that the projected boundary of the deformed mesh matches the image silhouettes. Further, we impose a sparse key point graph loss and a spatially varying local smoothness regularizer. Again, note that our training only relies on 2D weak supervision instead of 3D ground truth annotations, which are difficult to obtain. Next, we show more results. Note that our results precisely overlay the input. Our method it can deal with many types of apparel, like skirts, which are known to be challenging to track. We can capture a large variety of different motions and generalize to arbitrary environments. Further, our method works for daily life scenarios with moving background and even camera motions can be handled well. Here, we show our reconstructions from a virtual 3D viewpoint. One can see that the pose and deformations are also stable and accurate in three dimensions, which allows free viewpoint renderings with moving virtual cameras. In the middle, we show the output of our DefNet, which is the non-rigid surface deformation in the canonical pose. We can see that DefNet not only captures the non-rigid deformation of the surface, but also corrects the error in the skeletal pose. Here, we show results on our evaluation sequences, where we have multiple reference views. Note that our results are also looked plausible from reference views that are not used for tracking. This implies that the global localization as well as the local 3D pose and deformations are plausible. Please note that even invisible surface parts are correctly deformed and that occluded limbs are correctly placed. First, we compare our method with previous approaches on our evaluation sequences where reference views are available. For all results, we applied the ground truth root translation to make the different methods comparable. Here, we compare against HMR, which is estimating human shape and pose parameters from a single image. Since they leverage a human body model in minimum clothing, 
they cannot account for clothing deformations, leading to worse overlay compared to our method. Here, we compare against a monocular template-based method, LifeCap. They achieve a good overlay on the input view, but suffer from the inherent depth ambiguity as shown in the reference view. In contrast, our multi-view supervision during training helps to improve performance in three dimensions. Here, we show more results on in-the-wild data. Again, note that HMR cannot account for clothing deformations, whereas our method accurately reconstructs them. We also compare against implicit surface methods, which are trained on a large corpus of 3D scanning data. Although the implicit representation-based methods, such as PyFu and DeepHuman, can generalize on different subjects and clothing, their methods do not provide correspondences across time, and they do not preserve the skeletal structure of the human body. In contrast, our method obtains temporally consistent 4D results of the dense human shape. To evaluate the importance of DefNet over the result of PoseNet, we show a side-by-side -side comparison overlaid on the input frames. The purely pose-driven result cannot explain all deformations and can thus not precisely overlay onto the input frames in contrast to our non-rigidly deformed results. To evaluate the importance of our domain adaptation step, we show a side-by-side -side comparison overlaid on the input frames. Our pre-trained model achieves a good accuracy, but the domain adaptation step further improves the overlay as our networks can learn to adapt to the different lighting effects and the camera-specific response functions that were not captured in the studio. Here we test our model on a different subject than the one who has used for training, but both wear the same clothes. One can see that our method still gives plausible results, but as the training identity changes between training and testing, the accuracy drops. Further, for extreme poses like a handstand that were not seen during training, our method can fail. But please note that it recovers once the pose is again within the training distribution. Thanks for watching.